What's up guys? I'm out and about taking care of some business here, getting my hair did, and also working on moving some things around in the rogue. As you can see, I flipped this back around here. Way I could have access to my clothing when I leave. These are my camping stools if I ever have to move around and sit outside or I need another place that's an additional camping stool over here. Again, you guys already know that's where the cookware is, but I want to show you some of the modifications that I made here. Um, one thing that I did that was pretty cool here, as you can see, that's all the bedding up there. Uh, nothing real specific in there. And this is not an official tour. I'm just giving you some of the modifications. I actually moved the water jug there. And reason being is because it was freezing in the very back. And I'm thinking maybe I should put some reflectix on it to where it's not freezing in the back. But I kind of like where that's at because then I can you know, access my water right here if I need to. And as you can see, there's there's the 12 volt uh, lunchbox stove, which is for better lack of a better term, that's a godsend. Once I get my 12 volt fixed, I'll be able to use that again. That is my regular lunchbox that I use. And then there is my cooler. This is my Coleman cooler, which it's a mini cooler. It's bigger than what it looks like, guys, on camera. You can actually fit up to like 10 sodas in here, like in the bottle. But I keep cold goods and stuff in there. I've got to go shopping for groceries again soon and get some cold cold items. But that's, that's that set up here. Now, the one thing I did that I really, really am so excited about is I moved. I don't know if you can see it because of the distance, but this is a... Uh, this is like a mini shelf. I can access things in here. I'm actually going to move my cooking stuff, my supplies here. The way when I cook, when my trail stove hits, I can put it right here and I can cook right here. And sit back, relax, and enjoy. And I'd have the open flame, which would go up to here, which is a a uh, a moon roof, so that I don't have to worry about propane or butane issues. But uh, I really like this here. I am so glad. I don't know what took me so long to decide to do that. But that'll be so nice because then I can just put all my utensils and stuff in there. I'll have to relocate my Bible, but um, move things around. And I have plenty of space and I can still move stuff from the back here. So I can still locate everything that's up here. Just pull the seat down and adjust things backwards. So I'm really, really happy with that really happy with the way that that setup is but like i said the water for some reason let's see if it's it's not frozen but it was frozen for a couple days it didn't happen like that you know the first couple weeks i mean it had to get i would say it probably had to get in the i don't know the 20s at least for it to get frozen i'm gonna have to put more insulation in and figure out exactly what's happening with that but uh it's been a while since you guys have seen the inside of the Rogue, and this is not an official tour. I have one of those coming up in a couple weeks or the next week, but um, I'm going to put the trail stove right here, and I'm going to be able to cook literally right here. It's going to be awesome. I'm so excited for that. But, uh, so yeah, that's the difference. Now in here, I just keep my 12 volt cup as well, where I can keep um, also my sanitary wipes, things like that. So I'll be able to leave everything in there and it's not going to be affecting too much. And I'm just really, really happy with everything. Uh, this is a nice design. As you can see, that's my bedding up there. I want to get some more additional blankets. I don't feel like I have enough, but I mean, it's 65 degrees today and it's november so it's like it's unbelievable this weather because it was like 31 to 20 degrees earlier so but anyhow take a look at it this is going to be where i put my new trail stove at and let me go ahead and show you what i mean by that 